hello everyone so uh, here we are going to discuss about the problem statements these problem statements i have given in various courses uh, of programming so let us start with our first problem statement so our first problem statement over here is uh, this problem statement is basically designed so that students can apply the basic uh, programming constructs like uh, loops functions and conditional statements so by solving this problem statement uh, students will be able to apply all these concepts in programming okay so over here i have created a hypothetical situation that there is a watch company and uh, there is some manufacturing defect in this uh, new model of the watch which they have launched okay so here you can read the problem statement so they have launched a new model which is brodies and during its manufacturing there is some problem uh, the problem is such that uh, the RPM is increasing at a different kind of rate. Okay, so there are some uh, gears and all involved in the watch. Uh, so uh, there is a RPM with which a watch starts, but abruptly due to the manufacturing defect, this RPM is increasing in a uh, what to say in a random way, and uh, the watch is expected to last for more than 10 years. So at least for 10 years, the watch should perform properly. So, because the model is already launched and uh, the advertisement is done and so many watches are already uh, manufactured, so the company does not want to discontinue the model. So, their research team has found out that how this RPM is increasing abruptly. Okay. So, in the problem statement, you can read that uh, this is how the uh, RPM is increasing. I'll explain it again. Okay. And... Uh, uh, like uh, what you have to do is you have to take the rpm at the beginning of the first year then you have to calculate the rpm at end of the first year then take that rpm as uh, the beginning of second year and calculate the rpm at the end of second year and in the similar way you have to continue this for 10 years so for 10 times you have to continue doing some calculation calculation we are going to illustrate now after this and you have to check that after every iteration whether this RPM is reaching to the maximum limit of RPM or not. Okay, so there is some threshold RPM above which your watch should not generate the RPM. Okay, so that RPM's formula is 8 times the original RPM. Okay, so suppose your original RPM is 100, so your uh, uh, RPM at any year end should not be greater than 800, which is 8 into 100. Okay, and during these 10 years, if any, during any of the years, suppose 4th year or 5th year, if RPM is becoming more than the threshold RPM, then you will say that the watch cannot be launched in market because it is faulty. Otherwise, you can say that it can be launched in market. Okay, so now let us move on and see that how this RPM calculation is going on. So over here in the hint section, I have given that how this RPM is increasing. So it is given in words. I'll illustrate in it in form of a table. So there is a table given. Okay. So if your RPM is suppose 5524, you have to input the initial RPM. So here is first year. First of all, you have to find out the sum of square of digits. So your digits are 5524. So you are going to find out 5 square plus 5 square plus 2 square plus 4 square. So whatever the answer comes out, that will be your SSD. SSD means sum of square of digits. Okay. After that, you have to find out uh, SSD into 323. Okay. So this is a normal like some formula which their research company has found found out that you have to find sum of square of digit, then multiply it by 323, then put this uh, value as a, and I will call this value as a. After this, what you will do? You will again take this RPM and do the cyclic right shift. Cyclic right shift means you are going to shift the last digit to the starting of the number. So number is 5524. It will become 4552. Okay. Now we will call this as B. Okay. After this, what you are going to do is A plus the last two digits of B you are going to add. And when you do this, you will get the RPM at the end of the first year. Okay. So over here, our aim is to start from an initial RPM, find out RPM at end of the first year. Now take this RPM and again repeat the same formulas and find out the RPM at end of the second year. Then take this RPM 
and again find out like repeat this and find out the RPM at the end of the third year. You have to repeat this 10 times but during that repetition if any time you found out that uh, your RPM which you have calculated is greater than the threshold RPM. Okay, So threshold RPM is 8 times it is 8 times the original RPM. So you have to what you have to do you have to find out the resultant RPM then compare it with 8 into 5 by 2 4. Okay, you are going to multiply 8 with only the first RPM that will give you the threshold RPM. Okay, so you have to multiply it with this you have to compare the value with this. Okay, so 8 times 5 5 2 4 is 4 4 1 9 2 and uh, 4 4 1 9 2 is not uh, like less than this the resultant value is not greater than 44192 so we are going to move ahead then again we are going to move ahead but over here at the end of the third year this rpm which we have got is 64000 okay which is greater than the threshold rpm so we will say that this watch is faulty okay otherwise we could have calculated it for fourth year fifth year sixth year and tenth year okay so till 10th year if RPM is not greater than the threshold RPM then that watch is safe to be uh, uh, launched in the market otherwise not. Okay. So I will take an example over here so that you will understand it better. Okay. So first of all uh, what you have to do is firstly input the RPM. Okay. So you are going to input the RPM. Suppose the input RPM, I am taking some simple values. Okay, suppose the input RPM is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so what you have to do? You have to find out the threshold RPM. Okay, so threshold RPM is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 into 8. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4 into 8 will be the threshold RPM. So we have to find out the threshold RPM like I am telling you the programming steps that will help you in programming. Okay. So this will be your threshold RPM. This is going to be 9872. Okay. So you have to keep this value. You have to calculate this value only once. Okay. This is your threshold RPM. After this, you have to repeat these steps. Okay. What steps you are going to repeat? You are going to say that RPM is... 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Sum of square of digit is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. So that is 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, and 4 square is 16. Okay. So the answer is 10, 14, and 30. So the answer is 30. This is your sum of square of digit. Then what you have to do? Sum of square of digit into 323. Okay. So you have to do 30 into 323 that will give you uh, 0 9 6 9 okay so this is your ssd into 323 we are going to call it as a okay so this is the value of a okay now you have to calculate the value of b what is b b is cyclic right shift of rpm whatever rpm you had your rpm was 1, 2, 3, 4. So cyclic right shift will give you 4, 1, 2, 3. Cyclic right shift means you have to shift the last digit to the front of the number. Okay. And now you are going to call it as B. Okay. And now you will calculate the next RPM. Next RPM is A plus last two digits of B. Okay. So that is going to be A. What is A? Four uh, nine six nine zero, and last two digits of B is twenty three. So you are going to add them, and your answer will be okay nine seven one three. This is the RPM at end of your first year. Okay, this is RPM at end of first year okay now what you will do you will compare next rpm with threshold okay if 
threshold is less than the next RPM you will stop and declare that the part is faulty okay so over here uh, we have seen that our threshold RPM was uh, we, we have calculated 9872 and our next RPM came out to be 9793 so our next RPM is less than the threshold okay it should not go beyond the threshold so we are not going to say that it is faulty otherwise repeat these steps with RPMS 9713 so 9713 will now become your new RPM and you are going to again repeat these steps okay again repeat means again you are going to do this okay 9713 okay now you are going to find the SSD SSD is going to be 9 square plus 7 square plus 1 square plus 3 square okay so 9 into 9 plus 7 into 7 plus 1 into 1 into 1 plus 3 into 3 okay then you are going to multiply this answer with uh, whatever answer you get with 323 then you are going to do the cyclic right shift of the rpm so cyclic right shift of the rpm will give you 3971 okay then you are going to add this and then you are going to again find the resultant okay and whatever the result is coming you are again going to compare it with this threshold if this threshold is greater than the result then you are going to repeat again for the third year for the fourth year for the fifth year till 10 years so maximum repetition time is 10 times and during these 10 times if any of the time it is crossing the threshold you will declare that the part is faulty otherwise you will repeat okay so this is how this problem statement is okay so I hope it you understood the problem statement okay so this is our first problem statement